my name is Liz. This is a trailering video that I'm going to make because I have not found a trailering video that I like that's available on the internet today. This is not something that I have come up with. This is the John Lyons tapping technique. I don't think he called it that, but it was a VHS video I got when I was a kid and it talked about John Lyons technique that I'm going to try and show you today because this method has worked for every single horse I've ever worked with, whether it be a baby, a horse that's 10 years old and never been trailered, or a horse that's scared, or just flat angry about being trailered. I've worked with all sorts of different ones. I am not a trainer, I just love horses, and I find myself helping friends and family and taking on projects here and there. So again, this is just a video that I'm putting together because I want to be able to show the world the John Lyons technique in an easy to understand way. So hopefully this helps your horse and where you are. Uh, tools that you need are, I just typically use a regular halter. I like the cotton lead ropes because they're easier on the hands. And then a whip that is, you know, maybe three feet long. And it's not that the horses should be afraid of it. You wanna make sure that they're okay because this is just an extension of your arm. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put pressure in the form of tapping from the hind end and the second the horse moves a, any inclination forward, you take the pressure off. And that is the foundation of this type of technique. There is no circling involved. There is no lunging the horse and they stop by the trailer and associate rest with the trailer. There is no treat, trying to bag the horse in with treats. There is no putting food in the trailer and hoping that they wanna go in because there's food. There is no pulling the horse in, thinking that you are somehow stronger than the horse. And there is no begging the horse with baby voices, thinking that that might also encourage them to put a foot in. So, like I said, this technique has worked with every horse that I've ever worked with. And um, today, we're gonna do Romeo here. He is a uh, gelding, uh, he's about 20 years old. And the reason I'm here today is because this horse absolutely 100% knows how to go in the trailer, but throughout his life, there's been times where he just decides he doesn't want to. And today that happened again. So this is a fantastic opportunity to do this video that I've wanted to do for a while and show everybody how I would approach this. So here we are. It was earlier today that he didn't want to go in. Uh, and so I haven't done a thing with him. We just pulled him out of the pasture. We started rolling the videotape. He knows me, I I'm not a stranger, so. I'm hoping he gives us some trouble, otherwise he might just go, oh no, it's Liz, and get in the trailer, but we will see. So either way, I'll show you the technique. So what I like to do is I just usually put the rope around here. That's how the video had shown it. <clears throat> it's up to you how you want to do it. Um, but the whole concept is you point the horse to the trailer and you tap, 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 and the second the horse goes forward, you stop. Okay, oh, he backed up, so we're gonna tap him again, right like that, and stop and quit. All right, already he's getting a little anxious. He's got some anxiety built up, that's fine. You just take your time. It's important to pause after they move forward as a form of reward. So I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. Good, good boy. And take the pressure off. Tap, tap, tap. You keep tapping as he backs up till he goes forward. He needs to associate. Also, he needs to not step on you. Sometimes horses, when they get feel trapped, they oh boy, they start to come into you. I once had a horse. Stop. I once had a horse. Turn right back where he was. Calm down. I once had a horse um, basically try and go every which way she could, and when she couldn't do that, she just tried to run me over. That was probably the hardest horse I dealt with. So he's getting a little worried. And what I need him to do is just stop backing up. So I'm just going to keep tapping him and keep him in the right spot. He keeps backing up. Tap, tap, tap. Pressure off. Good. That's fine. He can go sideways, just not backwards. And relax. This is not, this should not be stressful. This just needs to be, I'm asking you to go in the trailer. I don't care if you don't want to, you're still going in. Okay. So I'm gonna, now he's relaxed. I'm gonna ask him again, tap, tap, tap. Good, good boy. He kind of stepped towards me. I'm not gonna make a big deal about it. He stepped back. 
that's going to go in. Uh, all that is signs of him not wanting to do. Shook his head, switched his tail. Good. Good boy. I'm going to stop right here and say 100% the reason this is successful or um, leads to success is the person in my position, your timing of stopping the tapping. If you keep tapping while your horse is going forward, it teaches them nothing. They must associate, if I go forward, all pressure is off. And that is the absolute fundamental key to making this work. I like how he's licking and chewing, okay? He, it's the second he goes forward. Now, if he starts swishing his tail, and the second I take pressure off, he starts backing up, I'm gonna put more pressure on him until he stands quietly where I put him. See right there? Just stand where I'm putting you. Stop it. It's okay. I am not gonna let him move my feet. That's kind of a Clinton Anderson thing. I'm in charge, and if he tries to get into my space, I'm gonna move him away from me, because I'm in charge. Okay. You're fine, he's like all worried. He's fine. I'm telling him he's fine. Ergo, he's fine. Okay, now, uh, another key factor I learned from the John Lyons video, which has been really interesting is, he said, once the horse puts their two front feet in the trailer, their body weight is now resting on their hind legs to where it's actually uncomfortable. So if you get them in the mindset of they can't go backwards, then eventually it's actually more comfortable for them to step into the trailer. And that has proven to be true. So if you get that horse that puts two front feet in and you can't get them in, you just wait it out. And you just focus on not letting them back up. Okay, that's really important. Step forward, I stop. Good boy. Okay? Good. Yeah, I'm not tapping as bad. I'm just kind of tapping somewhere over here. Some horses, you tap and they have no reaction. Good boy. Whoa. Whoa. So you get creative. I've tapped on the hawks. I've tapped on the cannon bone. I've like tapped in the exact same spot over and over again to make it annoying. And I've gone as far as a horse calling my bluff and saying, okay, you're just tapping me. I'm not gonna do anything. And I've stung horses going, okay, yes, this is a tapper, but it also has some bite to it if you're gonna call my bluff. I don't like doing that, but I have done that in the past. One horse really called my bluff and I had to sting him quite a bit. It, it was not something that I wanted to do, but if we didn't get that horse in the trailer, he wasn't going to have a good productive life where he could, his owner could trail ride him. And after we got through it that day, she now trail rides him every weekend because mm. it, that, even though it was a rough day, it led to a better life for him. So you have to be able to be willing to take it as far as you can. And if you're the type of person where you don't have the coordination or the confidence or the skills or the know-how to take this video and then you know do it yourself, you need to find somebody who does. Understand your limitations as a rider, equestrian, horse owner. You need to be confident and you need to be the leader. And if you can't do that, that's okay. A lot of people are in that position. But just know when you need to ask for help and when you can find friends, family, professional trainers to do that. So. Okay, we're gonna get him in now. He's relaxed, he knows the little tappy thing. So now I'm gonna stop talking and kind of more focus on getting him in. Tap, good, good boy. And he didn't back up that time, that was good. Good boy, okay. Good, come on. Keep their head in towards the trailer. That's a sign of avoidance when they try and take their head and push it out and look somewhere else. Keep their head facing in the trailer. Good. That try was very good. He backed up a little. I'm not going to make a big deal about it. He tried. I want to reward that by taking pressure off. And I want to show the horse I'm fair. If you're going to try and behave, be good, this is, this is no drama.
He's backing up. He stepped forward. Don't step onto me. Go in. Good. Good. Step sideways. That's fine. Okay, I want him to go in. Don't step on me. Yeah, go ahead. Switch your tail. I've had horses rear up. I don't care. I don't care what you do. You can sit there and try and run me over. You can rear up. But you're going in this trailer. Okay, go on. Go on. Good. Less pausing in between since we're just kind of in the same spot. Go. I just kind of pushed his shoulder a little bit when he tried to go into me. Okay. Go. Yeah, don't. Don't threaten with that leg. He'll become a stinger, not a tapper. Don't run into me. Just get in the trailer. Go ahead. Good. Okay. I'm going to pause that. I'm going to reward that. Because that was a good try. Even though this horse really does know better, and I could be a lot tougher on him. Just trying to go over all everything for the video. Okay. A lot tougher meaning like less waiting in between me tapping because he knows better. But this would be a good pace for somebody who's maybe not, not you know, not um, comfortable doing this. It's, it's not a rush. It's not a race. Okay. He's going sideways, but he's not going forward. He needs to go forward and not backwards. He's already put a foot in. He needs to put another foot in. Don't run me over. Go on. Thank you. Good job. Very dramatic. He just needs to go in the trailer. Go on. I tapped a little bit longer, even though he was going forward, because we were losing a little bit of ground there. So I kept tapping him a little bit longer. But te technically, you should, you know, let go when you tap. Kind of a finesse thing, too. And that's more of a punishment. Like, get forward. Stop that. Okay. One, 1,000. Two, 1,000. Starting again. Good. He's up to the trailer. Stop tapping. Maybe like a one, 1,000. Two, 1,000 is a good kind of thing to think about. Maybe a little bit longer if your horse is nervous. Good. Good boy. Yes. Good boy, but really you're just doing what you're supposed to. Okay, good. Okay, get in the trailer. Stop pretending to get in and just get in. Get in the trailer. Get in the trailer. Thank you. That was better. That was better. Get in the trailer. Go on. Go on. Don't fake it. Actually get in. Don't fake it. Get in the trailer. Go on. Go on. Thank you. Yes. Good boy. Don't paw in front of my face. Here he gets tapped. In here, there he gets left alone. He's upset enough at me just tapping him. I don't have to hit this horse. Most horses are like this. It's any type of pressure. Come on. He 
almost feels like I'm going to put pressure on his head when I get in there. Come on, go in there. Come on. horse he would definitely have flipped backwards um, I personally like all my horses to learn how to get in and back out I don't like them turning around that's uh, I was once told a long time ago good boy you're a good job um, that horses don't have good depth perception they can't see below them as well and so sometimes when you arrive at a new place you turn your horse around they're so excited about where they are or where their horses sometimes they don't look at where they're they're jumping down so going in a second time concerned about where his friend is, so he needs to pay attention to where I am and pay attention to me. And don't run into me. Don't run into me. Don't run into me. Good boy. needs to go in the trailer and he needs to stand there quietly not worry about where his friend is. Hey, hey, pay attention. Hey. Come on. Good. Good boy. Okay. Uh, we had, the video had just cut off. My phone ran out of storage space, of course. Um, right when we had pulled him out and had him um, load him in the first time and then we had pulled him out. Um, since then, we had loaded him back in the trailer and we just had him relax and went ahead and gave him a, some cubes of feed that he normally eats, just kind of as a way to get his mouth moving, chewing and relaxing. It's not the same as bribing him in with food or keeping him in there with food. We just wanted to say, hey, good boy, this is a happy place in the trailer because he was a little bit anxious and a little bit worried. So he was in there and we didn't want him to back up. So we kept him in there and we closed the divider. Um, once he was confident, once he was quiet and relaxed, I slowly, you know, closed the divider. And this is also a horse that's been trailered before. It's not a baby. We didn't throw him in there and slam the divider shut. We just got him to relax, about five minutes just sitting in there and then close the divider and then just let him sit in there for another five minutes. And then um, I backed him out and then we went ahead and um, actually tied him for five minutes over here at one of the trees, just to give him a breather, a break. And now we're coming back in to load him up again and say, okay, fresh start, you know, you've been tired, you've sat, and now I'm gonna ask you to get in the trailer and let's just see how much he's retained in the last basically 15 minutes, okay? So I'm gonna see if I don't need this, but it's always here in case I do. So he's already thinking like, oh, I'm not sure. I'm not gonna get in there. So I'll just remind him that I have this. Okay. Bring the video around here. Okay. Oh, okay, that works. Okay. We just want to relax and be quiet. Stop stamping his feet. We don't need a treat. We don't want him to back up. So I just went ahead and tapped his butt right when he, right when he, his butt hit the dirt. So it's not okay for him to decide to back up. He backs up when I decide. Okay. So I'm, there's no pressure on him. I'm just asking him to relax. All right. He's a little agitated. He can't see his friend, but that's not an excuse. He still has to behave. So, oh, with a little bit of a, um, a cube right here. So 
I'm just gonna get that. I'm gonna give it to him. He's acting like he's starving because he's just a little bit nervous. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, back him out and then call it quits for the day. End on a good note. So what I wanna make sure is that I back him out, he doesn't back out. So I'm, bef so I'm gonna basically make sure that I'm dictating how he is in the trailer and I'm still in charge. And he's still, you know, nice and relaxed. So now I'm gonna say back up, back. Good boy. Good. Pay attention to me. He wants to go turn and look at his friend. Now he's looking at mama. Okay. All right, so that's definitely how to end on a good note. Um, I like to ramp up and put more pressure on when I need to. Otherwise, I don't like to put a lot of pressure on. If they're, you know, listening and trying, I want to give them the benefit of the doubt. Um, but the second they start to, um, I don't know, stop responding, kind of hit that point where, you know, halfway he, I felt like we weren't really getting anywhere. He was listening to me and he was kind of putting his foot in, but then we, we, we stalled. He really wasn't getting in past that. So I ramped up the pressure a little bit because um, if you keep doing the same thing over and over again and not getting the same result, that's the definition of insanity. But it's just more of that fine line between um, how much pressure to put on a horse and when to take it off. And that's really kind of experience uh, factor. So just know that, you know, give the horse a benefit of the doubt, keep everything calm. But if the horse stops responding to you or tries to start calling your bluff, or starts to get a little pissy with you, then that is time to say, hey, sucker, no. You need to listen to me, and I'm going to increase the pressure if you stop responding, if you stop trying. And then once they start to try, you, you back off. You don't, you don't stay angry, you don't you know, get all huffy puffy, you just say, hey, good, they responded. And you just have to be really level-headed, but you have to be willing to go with them you know, amp it up, ramp it up and then ramp it back down when you need to. So I hope this helps. I've got a couple other horses in mind that I might be doing some additional videos. So um, yeah, stay tuned. Hope this helps. John Lyons video is where I learned this, the tapping technique. Thank you.